So do a slip knot. You just roll the yarn around your hand and you let the tail kind of fall down in the middle behind and then you don't want it too, too loose. And you can either stick your crochet hook up and under and pull up that loop and hold it just like that. That's one way. I'm going to show you the two easiest ways. Or you can just let the yarn from behind and just pick up that loop and pull on here with your other hand. Just like that. Either way, as long as you're comfortable doing it. So we are going to chain four. And uh, we are going to insert our hook into the first chain that we made to form a circle. And we're going to close this with a slit stitch. So just yarn over like this and pull through that um, first chain and then pull through this one as well. Just like that. And that's a slit stitch. So we're going to chain up two. Now right in the center, right there, is where we're going to want to go in to do our 12 double crochet. So um, this chain 2 does count as our first double crochet, so we're going to do a yarn over, go right into that hole, just like that. And we're going to crochet right over our tail, so just hold it down next to your work. And then yarn over, pull up a loop, you have three loops on your hook. So you yarn over again, you pull through two, yarn over, and you pull through two. I'm going to show you that a couple more times just so you are able to, to do this if this is your first time. So you do yarn over, go into the center in that hole, holding your tail down, yarn over again, pull it back through, you have three on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Show you one more time. Yarn over, go into there. Yarn over, pull up a loop. You have three. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. You are going to want to have a total of 12 double crochets. Remember this count as our first one, so that would be one, two, three, four. So you need to do eight more and you're going to want to go right over that tail around the whole thing. So I'm going to show you this first round and then, um, well I did show you these three, so I'm going to let you go ahead and do the 12 all the way around and I'll show you how to um, end this row. Okay, so I've completed my 12 double crochet all the way around. You do want to verify that you do have 12. Um, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can count each of these posts like this or you could turn it up on its end and uh, count it this way. So this would be um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and that last one is twelve. So you do want to verify you have twelve. And how you finish this row is we're going to close it with a slit stitch. So we don't want to go into that first chain. We want to go at the top where it would go to the next stitch. So we're going to pick up these two stitches right here. Just like that. Make sure you have the top, the two stitches on your hook. Yarn over, pull, pull through here and pull through that first one, just as we did to form our circle. So now that row is closed. So we're going to chain up two, and we're going to be doing increasing rows, because we need to make it big enough for the top of our head. So we're going to go yarn over, and we're going to go back into that same stitch, right there where that stitch is. So back into here, when you have two into one stitch, two stitches in one space, it's called an increase. 
and I'm just doing a double crochet so that's two into one you're going to want to do two in each one all the way around I'm going to show you again so yarn over go into the stitch yarn over pull back up you have three just like before pull through the two yarn over pull through two that would be one so we need to do two because we're doing an increase in every stitch so that would be two here and two here so you want to go all the way around you want to verify that you have 24 stitches and I will show you again how to close up uh, this row so go ahead and complete that and we'll continue okay so I've completed my 24 stitches all the way around and I have verified that I have 24 so we are going to do a slit stitch into the top right where this post is right here so we're going to pass by that chain and go into the top of the stitch picking up both the front and the back stitch just like this yarn over pull through that one and then pull through that that closes that off just give that little tiny pull just like that so we are still increasing so this would be considered our third round and at this point you see how there's that <clears throat> excuse me that hole in the middle you can take your tail and just give it a little bit of a tug while holding your work. And see, that closes that right up. Isn't that nifty? I love that. Okay, so we're going to chain two again. And you're going to do this on every row. You're going to close the same way. And on every row, you're going to um, chain up two. So we're still doing our increasing. So on this, the third row, we're going to increase in the beginning stitch. On any increasing row, you always increase on the first stitch. So on the third row, we're going to do an increase and then one, and an increase and one. So on our second stitch, you're going to do just one double crochet, and, and then you're going to, so we did an increase, and we're going to do one, so now we're going to just repeat and go back to an increase. And then do one. Show you that one more time. So we did increase one, increase one. So we're going to do an increase in the next one. And remember, you can pause, rewind, or anything you want on these videos. And then we're going to do one in this one. So go ahead and complete that, repeating that all the way around. On the first row, you had 12 stitches. <clears throat> On the second row you had 24, and we're just going to add 12 more, so you'd have 36 stitches, counting each one individually all the way around. So go ahead and verify you have that, close that up with your slit stitch, and chain up. And we will continue on with our fourth row. Before I closed the third row, I did want to show you that when you end your row, you know you did it right if you end on a single stitch when you're increasing and you went on a single stitch, that is correct. So I just wanted to show you that little trick that you can help yourself out with. So I'm going to do my slit stitch and chain two. So now we're on our third row, and in every row that we increase, we're going to add 12 more stitches. So that's 12, 24, 36. This next row is going to be 48. So we're going to do our increase, double crochet in that first stitch. And then we did last time we did an increase one, increase one. So this time we're doing an increase and then two. So one double crochet in the next two stitches and then an increase. I figured I could speed up because I already showed you how to do the stitches. So that was increased. So we do one double crochet in each of the next two stitches and then an increase here. Okay, so that's an increase, two, increase, two, increase. So go ahead and complete that. You'll have 48 stitches. Go ahead and uh, slit stitch that and chain up, and we will continue on with our fifth row. You're doing great. Keep up the good work. For this project, <clears throat> we're going to go one more row up, and on this row, you're going to have 60 stitches. This is going to be our last increasing row. That's 12, 24, 36, 48, and then 60. So on this row, we've already done our chain up, and let me come in a little bit so you can see. 
So we're going to do increasing because we're still increasing in this row. I'm sorry for bumping the camera there. Okay, so we did um, two stitches in between the increase. See, there's an increase there, and then two, and then an increase. So on this row, we're just going to go up one. So it's increase, and then three stitches, and then increase, and then three stitches. So I'm going to let you do that since I've already showed you on the other ones. So go ahead and do that. Join it and chain, and we'll continue on. Okay, I just wanted to show you how when you place the beanie on your head and you lay your hands at the side, see how the beanie touches my fingers. So I know that this beanie is going to fit my head. Um, this beanie that I'm making is roughly for um, the head circumference, which goes all the way around. <coughs> Excuse me. It's around 21, 22 inches or so. So I know that this is going to fit my head. And you can get one of these little foam heads at... Um, you know, a beauty supply store, um, and they're relatively cheap. So we are going to continue now. Okay, so we have completed those rounds. I showed you how you know if it's going to be big enough for the person you're making it for. So we are done increasing because we have 60 stitches for the adult hat. And, you know, this hat, this size even fits my 8-year-old daughter. So um, remember, yarn is going to stretch a bit. And you want it to kind of mold to the head. So we don't want it too, too big to where it's floppy. It's going to fall off. So this fits her and me really nicely. So now we're going to just do one double crocheted each stitch around. We're not going to put another stitch in that first one because we're not increasing. So we're going to do yarn over and go into that next stitch right next door to it. Just like that. So we're going to do one stitch uh, double crocheting each stitch all the way around and we're going to chain up and let's see this is our one two three four five this is our fifth row so this is our sixth row and go ahead and do it to where you have for six more rows do one double crocheting each stitch all the way around join it chain up and then do one more six rows and you'll really see your hat starting to form um, when I have completed my rows we will check each uh, crocheter um, is different in their tension of their stitch and the, sometimes the yarns are different as well so go ahead and complete your six more rows to have 12 rows so this would be one see the circles two three four five that's six so six more rows 12 completed together and we'll continue from that point okay guys so here is the finished beanie and it turned out really really good excuse my computer screen on in the back. So when you get done, um, you see the tail here, just go ahead and do a chain like I just did there and then take your tail um, and pull it through right here and just pull it um, tight and then weave in your ends. And that is a completed beanie. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to subscribe and share our videos and check us out as we are adding more crochet um, character tutorials um, all the time. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.